one of the challenges in any FinOps op strategy or cost optimization strategy is to know where to start and what exactly need to be done if you search google you will enc encounter various verbos methodologies strategies number crunching and lot of stuff and then you get really confused at what really needs to be done to save cost in aws or any cloud for that matter in this video i'm going to explain a workable pragmatic practical quick FinOps strategy which you can use in your aws cloud and you can port these concepts to any other cloud first and foremost you need to talk with your cloud provider or any te technical account manager and see what sort of discount is an offer on your aws spend for example in aws you can have savings plan which is a flexible pricing model that can help you reduce uh, cloud bill by up to 72 comp percent compared to on-demand prices and you just need to make one or three year hourly spend commitment with aws and then you get a massive discount so i believe any organization which is looking to stay with aws for one to three years they should go with savings plan for computer um, any other resources they are using like kubernetes you could also utilize reserved instances but i would suggest first look at the savings plan Okay, once that's done and you know that you are getting maximum discount from AWS, then go towards waste management. When I say waste management, it means that get what is running in your um, whole AWS fleet or any cloud fleet and then review each and every instance cloud resource like EC2 instance, RDS instance, Lambdas, DynamoDBs and stuff like that with your uh, product owner or application SME and then start deleting what is not needed once you will gather every all of them in one room for a couple of hours and start going through you'll be surprised how many clutter and waste you will find because there will be some instances lurking from some POCs from some testing some learning and stuff like that and then you can easily terminate them once you delete those resources the next step or in the parallel you can also look at the optimizer settings and see if you have over provisioned the resources most of the time you you will have over provisioned resources so start trimming those down change the instance type to the modern families and bring the cpu and memory count lower and you will have massive savings there too another thing which you can do is that look at for example, your RDS instances and see if people have provisioned multiple SQL servers or MySQL databases on RDS. And then talk with them to instead of having multiple instances, consolidate them into the over provisioned instances in one instance. So that way you will not only save a lot of cost, you will also reduce your management overhead. Then comes the intra optimization. After this, you need to start looking at options like auto scaling that instead of having a massive instance, can we have auto scaling group that if the load goes up, it will automatically provision um, a new instance. You can also look at the spot instances. You can also look at going from Windows to Linux to save cost in the open source and then elastic DR for the DR purposes that if it, it will spin up only when it is needed. Last and but not least, of course, you should start looking at uplifting your application that whether it makes sense to go serverless instead of putting it on ec2 uh, which is on demand and elastic can you use containers instead of the ec2 instance or even serverless which are the lightweight portable uh, components and then you should always focus on uh, app rewriting for example if you have an oracle database running sql server can you optimize your queries and then um, you know so that it will need less resources that ultimately translates into right sizing your resources so this is a strategy you should be using in not only aws but also with equivalent services in every other cloud i hope this was helpful if you have any comments feedback uh, questions please put them in the comments thank you very much